My name is Reggie LaFleur. I'm a visual artist that's based in Twin Cities, Minnesota. Primarily use spray paint and acrylic paints and inspired by street art culture, illustration, graffiti, comic books, all that sort of stuff. We're here at the uh, Northeast Ice Arena, painting a reference of Matt Dumbo on a 12 by eight foot panel project here next to the ice rink. I really wanted to uh, create something that, that referenced who he is, you know, just really just in the action and the thick of, you know, being, you know, a hockey player, being an athlete, but also uh, pay homage to a lot of his influences that really helped him understand like the more diverse and more inclusive aspects of hockey leagues and what he's doing. During this pandemic, something unexpected but long overdue occurred. The world woke up to the existence of systematic racism and how deeply rooted it is within our society. Racism is a man-made creation and all it does is deteriorate from our collective prosperity. On behalf of the NHL and the Hockey Diversity Alliance, we vow and promise to stand up for justice and fight for what is right. I hope this inspires a new generation of hockey players and hockey fans because black lives matter. Breonna Taylor's life matters. Hockey is a great game, but it could be a whole lot greater. And it starts with all of us. And you know, we're trying to create our own grassroots programs. Uh, just to help the kids. Partnering up and, and creating an alliance, like the Hockey Diversity Alliance with some of my good friends um, in the NHL. Just combat racism in our sport. I think it's been really powerful. That's what my focus has been on these past uh, two years. You know, devoting my time and, you know, my efforts in the community to, you know, help in the next generation. So I think this is a super cool opportunity we have to, to create some awareness and, and do something that, you know, the kids can relate to. You know, other, other alternatives ways to be successful in life and stuff and, and uh, you doing that through hockey. I have some opportunities to do that with my work as an artist. You know, it came from folks that I've learned from as well uh, growing up. In many ways, you know, I feel like, you know, there's some really strong representation that I have, you know, for Black and marginalized folks to be an artist, you know, travel the world and, and, and use my experiences as an artist to, you know, bring you know, forth awareness to things to other people and opportunities to other people. And well, so one of the ideas that I have for this project is to really, you know, just try to create something that reflects that diversity and inclusion. You know, why don't we tap into our youth? You know, why don't we tap into, you know, this next generation of, of folks that will, I, you know, would, in, in, in my hope, you know, to, to be that pillar, you know, of, you know, diversity, you know, within hockey, diversity with, within the arts. It made this thing wavy. I, I've seen some of your work. It's uh, yeah. beautiful, oh. man. And hey, I appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. Inspiration behind yeah. your art is super powerful. Being able to put that in a rink, mm -hmm. I think that would be, that would be really cool for them to see. And, you know, people say this all the time that representation matters. When I look back at my childhood, without even knowing as, as a young kid playing hockey, how much it matters and, and how true that statement is. My, my favorite two players were Paul Korea and Jerome McGinley, two guys that you know, I could just, I could relate to because they look like me. I wanted to uh, learn more about them and just study the way they played and see these guys uh, from dis different ethnicities playing in you know, mm -hmm. a, a, a white sport. It was really cool. And, I, and I've just honed in on those guys and, and followed them without even kind of realizing how much that, you know, made a difference, inspire me and, and you know, take my game to another level and, and seeing that there's other guys like me doing it. Mm -hmm. I think you're on the, I think you're on the right track, bro. Hopefully have some kids here uh, from the cities, you know, chase down their dreams. Matt, you just have my absolute gratitude, you know, for everything that you're doing. It's an incredibly inspirational thing to see that you've decided to use your platform as a means to deliver a message and, to, you know, deliver, you know, a stance on things, how challenging it is to really like talk about diversity and inclusion and you just have my thanks, man. So thank you. That's so sick. Oh my God. I would have to see that closer, man. Wow. That's unbelievable, man. I know I'm kind of speechless. I didn't, uh, I didn't think he would uh, involve me like that in the, in the mural. Wow. That's uh wow. What an honor. He's uh wow. Is he talented? That's super cool.